Right. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is EJ. Here we have Vlad, Sadiq, and Rahi. And uh, today we're presenting uh, Grace. And, okay. <laughs> go back, go back, go back. I just want to say that our mentor was uh, Professor Van Olosky back there. And our link here is uh, our blog, Blockchain on main Mainframe. And then now you can go. But yeah. <laughs> so here we have Grace. And it's an artificial intelligence. Simply put, it's a chatbot. And as you can see on the right is a screenshot in the early weeks of summer one. And if you're reading it, you can kind of see how it's pretty inconsistent. But right now we're working on it to make it more fluid. And how to do that, we're simply, we keep, we keep talking to it in order to train it because you have to treat it like a baby. And our, our main goal is to implement a voice recognition AI library on blockchain and using Linux One mainframe as our platform. Now, you might not understand any of those words, but the first step to do it is to gain knowledge on the following technologies, which is Python, and Python is a programming language. Linux is an operating system. NLTK is a natural language toolkit, which basically we extract that from online, and it helps us implement the human language into Grace. Blockchain is a technological structure, which basically utilizes the data we put into it, and basically manipulates it in its own way. And Hyperledger Composer is simply put like a automatic record keeping book, which stores the information we put. And mainframe is, is basically a processing unit. It's important because with all the data that we have to use to help this chatbot learn, this is the only way it could process everything it has within the system. So we have Raspberry Pi, which acts as a, our front end client, which actually anything can be a client. Now we over here for just for demonstration we are suing our computer which acts as a client as similar as Raspberry Pi. Uh, we also put that as a uh, server now so like anybody can access the Grace front end and can train it and interact as a client. So what it does, it takes the raw data, I mean raw text, and sends it to the Grace AI, which which runs on the cloud IBM Bluemix. Uh, <coughs> basically, Grace AI take, uh, takes the raw data, parses it, and uh, tokenizes and sends it to the Linux one, uh, <coughs> Hyperledger blockchain, which runs on Linux one uh, mainframe. Hi, my name is Ali Garrison. I'm the creator of the Christ AI. Um, yeah, so we got this part, what this part does, and what does this part does. Uh, we had a lot of struggle uh, last week, actually. And I finally managed to uh, write a patch for uh, mainframe, so Linux one, and it kind of uh, because we're trying to like use a new technology and the old technology. We're trying to combine them together. That's a huge challenge right now. What IBM does, same thing. And so finally, we managed to put up our Grace AI on here. Uh, with the blockchain, our database will be, we're planning to replace the database right now, it's on the cloud, but it will be in the uh, DB2 on mainframe. Uh, that will be our future plan. But for now, we're just like taking the payload and then uh, encrypt and then sending in here to uh, our blockchain. Uh, that's basically this entire flow is. Yep. Yes. And what, what is a blockchain? Blockchain is a consist of a uh, link. Basically, it's a linked list. Uh, whoever takes the, the data uh, structure in here. But how uh, it is basically a chain of nodes. And whenever it takes one data in, it creates its own uh, hash. and. Uh, it also promises the back, so it's kind of creating its own uh, way of link or chain. And we, to demonstrate this entire flow, we had uh, we had to hijack a website today, uh, but it's fine. 
<laughs> we would like to show you that how it works and also, uh, yeah, uh, go ahead, start the thing. Yeah. I'm the guy that wrote the hijacker. So we use a, uh, so we'll how was your, we will deny any association with you guys. <laughs> yeah, so how many, you guys use uh, Adblock and this operates on kind of the same principle. The idea is that when the page is loaded, it injects some code that it can use it instead of what the website was mainly intended for. So what this website was intended for is like, you speak to it and it writes for you. So we needed like a uh, like speech recognition so we can send it to the Grace AI. So what I did is I modified it so that when you speak it writes it, but then it captures what it wrote, sends it to Grace and erases it for the next speech. So if we can actually start speaking over here and it's a small screen, but you can see that it's writing over here and it sends something to Grace. So we can say something like, hello Grace, and it will give us a response. Hopefully. Tell me what you know about gossips. <laughs> <laughs> and it does it automatically. And as uh, EJ mentioned, it's very unreliable right now because it's, it's, like, it's basically an infant, so it doesn't really know how to compose sentences. Are you afraid of? <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's still being taught, but it does get the text and it sends it. And it actually converts the text that the Grace responds to back to speech. Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, so what this does is instead of typing hi, what is the temperature, you can speak it and it recognizes the voice and sends it similarly to how this does. And instead of showing it as a text, it converts it to speech so that we can hear it. So basically the reason we're doing this project, as I said, like old technology I don't. versus I the new technology. I think that harassment is a pretty strange emotion. I don't really understand it. <laughs> no, I don't understand either. So, uh, <laughs> so basically we're trying to innovate this technology, the, uh, the current technology called mainframe. The, what the IBM also does the same thing on ZOS. So basically Linux one is ZOS, so they're, they're partially same. They're on the, uh, operating on the ma uh, mainframe, <laughs> and it's not uh, uh, publicly available to uh, private use it, but you can try it always. So what we're trying to do now, we want to tell the Grace to take the payload and the command and send it to mainframe with the in, in the blockchain. We're not using any t type of database for this because it is going to be the blockchain. Blockchain is the database, right? And yes. Um, so like if you uh, ask and uh, set the temperature on something else, you can literally change it. And the main goal, as I said, change the, uh, see how much nodes are running on the mainframe. And what are the, uh, how many of them allocating the memory? and check all of these for the temperatures on the uh, machine and etc 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 you can generate a bunch of comments out of this to as i said the purpose or more commercial hopefully i don't know yet we'll and hopefully yeah. commercial product we don't have to hijack website no no no, no, no hijack